hello dears welcome to this new video tutorial on uh, excel in this video i'm gonna to find the earth work uh, using excel when we are doing survey for uh, some site work or infrastructure construction so we basically need to find the volume of cut and fill uh, required to attain a plane surface so in this case i am using uh, these two equation one is the average end area method and the other one is the pyramid method for the calculation of earthwork in this case the earthwork is related to the highway we have given the cut area and fill area at a different uh, reduced distance or stations so we will be using that data to calculate the volume of cut and fill so we use the average end area method when we have uh, the area at both end is non-zero and we use the area pyramid when we have the area at one end zero and the other one at non-zero when both area are non-zero then uh, the volume between the two sections make a shape like prism and when the area at one end is zero and at the other end it is non-zero so in this case it will make the shape like a pyramid and we will be using the pyramid formula to find the volume of cut or fill so here from this table you can see this is the station fill area and cut area and the length between the two stations or sections so i have pasted these four uh, columns from this table to the excel sheet and here I will be using F function and the, these two formulas like the pyramid formula and the average end uh, area method to find the cut and fill volume. So here I have added the F function F uh, these two uh, fill area product is greater than 0. It means that both are non-zero so we will be using the uh, average end area method. So here I will paste the average end area method that A1 plus A2 multiply by the length between these two sections that is 50 and divide by 2. But if this condition not exists like the product of these two is equal to 0 mean one of them is 0. So in that case uh, the formula of pyramid will be used automatically. So I will paste uh, these two the sum of these two area because one will be zero so we will be left with only one area multiply by l and divide by three so hit the parenthesis close this in the parenthesis uh, here this give me error so let me correct this so what is wrong with this i have not footed the parenthesis the and let me sort out what the other uh, error is so I have forgot here to add a comma uh, instead I added the multiplication or static so add comma and now hit enter so this will find me the fill volume in the first uh, section so let uh, enter and here you see the uh, value is 11350 so here it is the same as this and now from the autofill command just click on this and here you see all the values have been calculated so these are matching with these uh, existing value so this is uh, just for the verification that you can cross check both values the calculate already calculated and here uh, that i am going to calculate so now in the same method and the same formula uh, find the cut volume but uh, in this case i will be using the cut area so instead of f column i will be using the g column values so just change change the f into g and the length between them will be remaining the same that is from the h column so just change the f into g and then hit ok and here you see this is 70 15 uh, 70 16 and here uh, the value is 70 17 but let me apply the roundup so that will be roundup it to the whole number and will uh, uh, disclude the digit after the decimal so here this is 70 17 it is the same as here uh, the existing table and now to find the net volume just uh, uh, subtract the cut volume from the fill because we are using the cut volume as a negative and the fill volume as a positive and now to find the cumulative volume so here is a formula for this 
now in the last find the cumulative volume uh, it has this uh, very simple formula here you can see and just round up the values to the nearest whole number and avoid the fraction or the decimal so here you see the formula and now just find these volumes so here you can match this with the table values so these are very similar to the table value so the final net volume is double three at six and it has positive symbol so it means this will be provided as a fill so hope you like this tutorial uh, the and the method for finding the cumulative volume or the earthwork i hope you have learned something and if you have learned something then please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching